So today we're going to make some very lovely shrimp biryani and I'm just going to start with going over the ingredients and it is going to be a very quick and easy version that any one of us can make without any professional training but it is going to be so delicious I promise you. So we're starting off with some big jumbo shrimp and I love shrimp but I especially especially love the big types of shrimp and if you can get them it I would highly recommend them so these are cooked and they have um, the tails on but the shells off okay so we have these shrimp and we have some yogurt we have some ginger garlic paste we have some coriander and mint leaves chopped I'm gonna have to chop them up a little finer and we have some rice uh, we have some spices we have some saffron here, which I'm going to be um, taking and um, putting in, putting or mixing with some milk. We have some garam masala, and my version for today will be some cardamom, some cloves, and some cinnamon sticks. We have some cumin powder, turmeric, cayenne, and we have coriander powder. Now, I'm not using green chilies because we don't have them, so I decided to put a little bit more cayenne pepper. You can use less cayenne pepper and um, substitute with some green chilies. I would recommend that very much, but because this is what we have, this is what we're doing. I have uh, biryani masala, and I'm using Shan biryani masala, which I think is has a great flavor. I think I have already said this is garlic, minced garlic and minced ginger, but if not, this is minced garlic and minced ginger. And finally, we have some fried onions, and that's going to give a lot of flavor to this dish. So we have some key that we will be using, and this, the variety I'm using is golden seal uh, vegetable key, ingredients, canola oil, modified palm and palm kernel oils, artificial flavor, beta carotene, and citric acid. So I'm using, I think, I do believe that this is a little bit lower in fat and healthier than the traditional ghee. Um, that's, so that's what I'm going to be using. And I'm also going to be using rose water uh, at the sort of the end stages for flavor. So before we start cooking the rice, I wanted to show you that I have some saffron and I don't know if you can see it, but I think you should be able to see it. The saffron is, uh, I'm soaking the saffron in milk and there, the saffron threads are of course red, but you can see little bits of yellow um, soaking through into the milk and that's going to give it a beautiful flavor, but also a very beautiful color. 
and this is a very visually appealing dish so the color and how uh, it looks is also very important when cooking um, shrimp biryani so now I'm gonna go over uh, to the rice I'm taking the rice with me and I have my pot boiling here and um, what I'm gonna be doing is adding the rice in And I'm also going to be adding to the rice the whole garam masala. And I'm doing this so the rice absorbs the flavor of the garam masala as it cooks. And I'm going to be cooking the rice not 100%, but up to about 90%. Because you want it to be not completely cooked. You do not want it to be soggy. Uh, you want it to be almost uh, cooked because we're going to be doing um, at the end of this biryani we're going to be uh, cooking it with the shrimp so I'm going to be cooking the rice when it's about 90% finished and I will be back when the rice is done so here we are with the shrimp and what I'm going to do is marinate the shrimp but because we're not dealing with something like chicken or fish or uh, red meat um, the shrimp will not take will not necessarily take a lot of time to marinate so I'm um, going to be adding half of my garlic, half of my ginger, half of my cumin, half of my coriander, and all of the biryani masala and I will be giving this a good mix I will not be adding the yogurt to the marinade And I will let this sit for a while until we get ready to cook the shrimp. I'm going to be adding the marinated shrimp. I think I've mentioned these shrimp are already cooked, so I don't want to overcook them. I'm going to just fry them very lightly. Oh my gosh, does it ever look? and smell amazing oh my goodness and now what I'm gonna do is add the yogurt And this is optional because a lot of people will be using green chilies. First of all, I'm gonna add my spices before I forget the rest of my spices. So as I was saying, this part is optional, but I'm going to be also adding a bit of chili sauce to this. And remember, you don't want to overcook your shrimp.
and this will give it a bit of tomatoey flavor. And there you go, because the shrimp are already cooked, I don't want to cook them anymore. That should be sufficient and it smells amazing. So I will be back with the rice and the layering. Okay, so now comes the fun part. I think the, the really fun part of this dish. So we have our beautiful shrimp at the bottom of my Dutch oven. And now I'm going to be adding the rice with the whole garam masala that I had put in. So this is for two people and uh, it's not, I didn't make a huge amount and it should be more than sufficient for us. So this is the second layer and it's just perfect, actually the perfect amount. Okay, so to this, I'm going to be adding the beautiful coriander and mint leaves. And does that ever look beautiful? And I don't know if you will be able to see this. Before I add the fried onions, I'm going to be adding a little bit of rose water. It doesn't have a color to it, but it has a beautiful smell. And now I'm going to be adding some of these beautiful, beautiful fried onions. Oh my goodness, does it ever look good? And if you don't want to make them, you can also buy fried onions like this. And finally, I would call this, in a way, the piece de resistance, the saffron, the saffron soaked in milk. And I'm just gonna cover this and let it cook a little bit and come back. So I wanted to show this beautiful biryani has cooked and I'm just going to show how lovely this looks. As you can see, and the shrimp, this is the beautiful shrimp at the bottom. And oh my goodness, does that not look amazing? So I am going to dig into this beautiful, beautiful creation. I wanted to take a few seconds, I don't think I can wait a few minutes, to show how absolutely gorgeous it looks in the pot. So you can see the, the mint and the coriander leaves, you can see the fried onion, you can see bits of the white, the rice that are still white and the parts that are covered, covered with uh, the saffron. The rose water, you can smell a little bit. It's a very delicate smell. And of course, you can see the shrimp. So it's a beautiful medley, a beautiful medley of colors, I think. And it looks absolutely beautiful. And so what I did was I served myself. And um, this is my plate of shrimp biryani. So you can see all the beautiful colors. And I'm just going to help myself to a bite. I'm just going to take the, I'm just going to use my hands actually, and obviously not eat the tail. This is the shrimp. Mm. If I do say so myself, you could not get a better biryani at a restaurant. It is very, very tasty. Um, and the, I don't know what to say. It's just for me, it's a perfect blend of all sorts of different beautiful spices. But it's also, it's got a bit of heat. And I didn't even use green chilies. I used chili sauce, but it is absolutely beautiful. So serve this at your next special function, next party. And I'm sure your guests will be delighted. It is absolutely, amazingly delicious. So thank you for watching. If you like this video, please uh, like and subscribe. And I will be back with more exciting and delicious recipes in the days and weeks to come. Thank you for watching. Take care and God bless.